Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being here as always, Nicole. Hi, thanks for having me. All right, so we're going to talk about antibiotics. You know, there's so many opinions out there about everything. Um, I was talking to one of my partners about a supplement. And for as many reasons why it's a good supplement, people are going to have reasons why it's a bad supplement. And antibiotics, um, just me, I mean, you're going to give us some details about it. You're more educated about this than me because you are you specialize in the gut. That's why you're called the gut girl. But um, I try to avoid them. And I don't understand, and this is just my opinion. I'm not telling anybody else to do this. I'm not saying don't take your antibiotics. Listen to your doctor and make your own choice. That's what I'm saying. But a lot of times maybe I'm, I'm having dental work or something. They want me to take the antibiotics as a preventative. I never do that. I'm going, why would I take something? Let's see my body fight it. Let's see how my body responds. That's just my way of doing it. Am I saying right. that everyone should do that? No, I'm saying make your own decisions. But what do you have to say about how antibiotics, and there's so many different ones out there, how they affect the gut and what's your opinion on it? Okay, so this is purely my opinion. I do not think, and it, you know, I don't think that a million people should quote me to their doctors and say, I should not be taking antibiotic. That is not what I'm saying. But what I do think and what I have learned through my education is the antibiotics are going to kill a, a great large percentage of your good bacteria in the gut, which if you have multiple rounds of antibiotics, that's going to take you multiple years to get back that good gut flora. So, and in my opinion, and what I see in clients is say they have, you know, something that is like, a, say they have something like Shigella, and that's a terrible bacteria that requires antibiotics. So what if they can't get rid of that? So now they have IV antibiotics. So now they've, now they're getting a heavy hitter of antibiotics. But let's look at the beginning part of that. What was their gut like prior did they have a ton of good bacteria that they're killing? Are they a standard American diet eater? That kind of thing where it was already wrecked and now we're putting more antibiotics on it on top of it to kill the to wipe out everything else. You have to look at the whole picture with antibiotics and what it's going to do to you. So if you're going to get on a round of antibiotics, then know what to do to combat that. People should be on a probiotic and a prebiotic when you go on an antibiotic anti because that will help preserve some of the good gut flora. Um, you know, lots of people come into my office and they have C. diff. So that lots of times they've seen that with their doctor and their doctor has repeatedly, repeatedly given them antibiotics, but yet it still keeps coming back. One of the problems with this theory is, is if you kill something through antibiotics, you have to repopulate the gut. So after the antibiotic, you have to repopulate the gut the proper way. You should not ever stay on a probiotic longer than 90 days so that you should be rotating through different strains and a prebiotic in there. So that's the way to make your gut healthier again after antibiotic. But I actually don't think that all the time it is the right thing to do. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have an interesting question for you that you're probably not expecting. But <laughs> I've, I've read a little bit about the death of George Washington. And um, he was 67 years old. He was out riding his horse and doing his work and so on. And a light snow. I mean, this is just the stuff I've read. And got like a cold infection. And it killed him really quick. And they were doing that bloodletting. They thought that that would help back then. Do you think antibiotics would have saved his life? 
I think that that goes back to what was his gut like first. Hmm. I think that we, and what was his immune system? A part of the problem that I'm seeing a lot is that people who come to me have terrible weakened immune systems. And now you're asking for an instant cure. And that's what antibiotics do is that you think they're that instant heavy hitter. Yes, maybe if depending on what infection he had, but how would he have been afterwards? Would he been perpetually sick afterwards and really not made it that long after 66 back in those days is up is very old. Yeah. He was 67. So, so, so he was, he was very past his prime in those days. So I don't, I just, it, there's been many times in my life I have taken antibiotics, but now I do it a totally different way and I combat it on the other side of this. Plus I have a very good diet. I take care of myself with exercise. I, you know, I make sure I check all the boxes if I'm going to have to have an antibiotic. Last question. Is there anything natural that we can take that kind of acts like an antibiotic? Tons. There are tons of things out there that you can take. I mean, there, I have so many protocols that I use on people that are, I mean, just, I, I, one of my tests that I do that I absolutely love is a GI map test. And normally H. pylori, if you go to the doctor is going to give you an, an antibiotic. <clears throat> normally, if you have SIBO, they're going to give you an antibiotic. I do not think that that is the right way to kill those kind of things. I think there's a very good natural protocol that you can do. No, it's not going to take a week. It's going to take a month, but you're going to be much better in the long run because it is actually killed and it's, the gut has been repopulated. And so depending on your clients, there's multiple protocols that you might use um, instead of maybe it just, you're giving them a different choice. Absolutely. So Nicole, um, we know that, uh, you offer a hundred dollars off anyone who says that they've seen this video, but, uh, how do they follow you on social media? You can find me at the gut girl NV on all social media platforms. And then you can reach me via email at the gut girl one at gmail.com. All right. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Great information. Thanks for having me.